today she's in the second grade. And my wife has invested a lot of time analyzing the options for how to start a school adventure uh, for our kids. So after a lot of talking with many women and some other uh, guys that uh, could share some conclusions that they have get, uh, got to, uh, we understood that the right thing to do is just to uh, uh, start with Shuvu. And I must admit that not only that we do not regret doing so, but we are also uh, talking with uh, most of our friends recommending to, uh, uh, to try it. Because one of the things that we have found here is something that uh, we could not find anywhere uh, else. We know that one of the challenges uh, for parenthood uh, today is the fact that uh, kids are exposed to more violence and they have less respect one to each other for many reasons and they also connect one each other using uh, several kind of devices like most of us actually <laughs> and um, this basic thing of communication between people this basic thing of respecting the parents uh, is not a trivial one anymore and here in Shuvu we get these fundamental uh, uh, values of the human being, the core values uh, emphasized by the teachers, by the staff and I see my daughter growing up very well, much better than uh, I wished myself and since of the stressed parenthood because of the economy situation and because of many other things going on uh, I think these hours in the school are the most effective time for the, uh, for the child. And being taken care of uh, by this good stuff and according to uh, uh, this important uh, fundamentals and finding this unique way to connect secular people to the religion uh, actually is, is amazing uh, in my eyes. And, and again, I see the fact that my kid is happy when there are her holidays and again, for me, it's trivial, okay? When I was a child, and I am coming from not a religious uh, family, but a traditional one, let's call it like this. And we were always happy, and we had these ceremonies, etc. But it's no longer like this. I mean, people are concentrating on the day-to-day -to -day work, etc., and pressure. And here, they are emphasizing this. You can see it in other uh, ways. Like, for example, uh, the school is not cheering up or compensate uh, only for results but also for efforts. So not only the uh, most successful uh, student or pupil uh, in a class will get a nice prize, but also the one that made most of the effort to gain some progress, even though he's a, he might be a weak guy, okay? So this is something to, to actually appreciate. And we did not see it anywhere else, by the way. Another issue is, uh, uh, or aspect, is that uh, we just talked, or mentioned uh, Rabbi uh, Arusi, and so it's not only investing in the children, but also in their parents. Meaning that uh, enriching the knowledge of the parents with many educational aspects, like uh, uh, the relation between the, the parent to the kid, or uh, self-confidence of a kid, of how to be a, like a role model to, uh, uh, to your child. Sometimes we need these tools. And investing in the parents is almost the same as investing in the child because when the parents get the tools, it goes directly to the child right after. So again, all in all, I see here a lot of unique things in this uh, school and I'm, I'm so happy that we uh, made this choice. And I just want to thank you all uh, making it happen. It happen. Uh, that's all. I'm here for questions, of course, if you have, but that's all I had to say. I guess I have some questions.